Hey guys, Coach Craig Shinta here. In this video, I want to talk about how to stage a comeback when you've had a setback. Yes, my friends, it happens to the best of us, right? You know, things happen and you experience a setback. It could be in your personal life. It could be in your business. Um, I don't know. But how do you stage a, a, a comeback, right? First thing is to realize that whatever happened, it's the past. It's the past. Bye, Felicia. We ain't worrying about that no more. <laughs> we ain't worrying about that. We ain't worrying about what, what would have been, what could have been, what had happened was. Nope. Cut all that. We're worrying. Our, our eyes are focused on the vision. Our eyes are focused on where we're going, what we're creating, what we're building, what we're about to have as a result of what we're doing. Right? That's the first thing. Mindset. Right? So that's it. Cut about what happened and focus on what's about to happen. Second thing is, I want, I think that uh, staying on mindset for a minute, that in order to prepare for a comeback, it's important to focus a lot on mindset to get that mind right. And there's a couple people that I follow that I love to connect other business owners to in terms of content on social media because they real deal. Okay, Lisa Nichols, real deal. Rachel Hollis, real deal. You trying to snatch your life and get your mind right for, for leveling up and comebacks and all types of stuff? These people should be on your list. And then the book, Think and Grow Rich, right? So these are all things that, you know, I would encourage, you know, I love to listen to these things when I'm in the shower, when I'm driving, things like that to get your mind right, okay? Because that's important. Because one of the tricks of the enemy is to have you doubting yourself, doubting your capability, comparing yourself to others to rob you of your dream and your vision. That That's it. So, um, mindset. You know, those three things. All right, so I already talked about eliminating the past or what could have been, should have been, all that stuff. Um, getting that mind, working on the mindset, you know, making that part of your daily routine. All right. And the next thing is to actually get a piece of paper and write out what you want, what you want and why you want it. And again, I always um, am saying, you know, get people out of your vision. Your kids shouldn't be in. And, and what I shouldn't say they shouldn't be motivation for your vision, but it should be something you want, something you want, because you're going to be doing the work. So what is it that you want and why do you want it? OK, make sure it's you. You might, might have to clear your head because you'll always have in your head other what you think other people want you to have or what you should have because you think other people will want you to have, right? Get that out of your head and write down what you want and why you want it because everyone's vision of success or what a comeback would look like, it's going to look different for other people, okay? So write down what you want and what you want and, and what you want and why you want it, all right? And then you're going to do the starting point, end point, um, exercise that's where you just get a piece of paper you know write one two three and you're gonna draw a line you're gonna write at the bottom starting point and at the end ending point okay what is your first goal this is where you're just gonna focus on one goal to do your comeback and that where it says starting point you're gonna write one thing you can do right now today to start taking action okay so let's say one of the let's let's use an example something that's not business related Let's talk about fixing your credit. Let's say your goal, your one goal to fix your credit is to have a 600 credit score. I'm just making this number up or 700 credit score. Let's go with 700. You're going to write at the end point, 700 credit score. At the starting point, you're going to write down order my credit report. That's the first step. And that's the hardest part. I think sometimes as humans, we get so overwhelmed. We just looking at the end point. And we're not realizing that the power is in the first step. So the first step, you're going to write that down. Now you're going to write down what you're going to do in the middle to help you get to that 700 credits. Or what are the extra maybe three or four things you need to do to get yourself. But it's important to focus on that starting point to get started. All right. What is the most powerful thing you can do to get started? And that's what you're going to do. So in your business, if you're preparing for a comeback, you know, maybe the first thing that you do is 
you get equipped. You get some training. You get some mentorship, right? Maybe the first thing that you do is you sit down and you evaluate your offers and you decide, I'm not going to be trying to do the most. I'm going to do the, the I'm going to stay focused. And maybe you need to narrow some of your offers because it's, it's not always about doing the most and having multiple streams. It's about being focused and making sure that you can leverage what you got to get the most impact. <laughs> so that's a lot. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. Um, share this with somebody who needs it. And I hope this was of value to my friend. Comment below and let me know. Bye.